Welcome back everyone, it is Tyler from Iron River Armory and today we're going to be starting a build that I'm super excited about. We're going to be making my very first propane forge. Up until now I've just been using those fire bricks with a couple propane torches. Hasn't been the greatest, hasn't gotten the metal that hot, makes it really hard to forge. Well we're going to be using this, uh, this air compressor cylinder here to house the forge. Uh, we're going to try to keep the budget around a hundred bucks. Um, so guys sit back, relax and enjoy the build. Two days of drilling and re-drilling holes and trying to get machine screws through this thing. We have finally done it. We have gotten the lock on it and the hinge and the shell is completely done. We got the holes drilled for the um, vent hole and for the propane for or the propane burner. Next step is going to be the insulation and the propane burner itself. All right, now that we got the shell of the forge all done, it's time to add the insulation. For that, we're gonna be using this material. It's a insulative material. It's a fabric that you can cut and mold to any shape. Um, we're gonna use two of those. I think it's a foot by two foot sheets, and then this mortar cement for furnaces and fireplaces. Both are rated to around 2300 uh, degrees Fahrenheit, so it'll make good insulation for our forge. So let's get to that.
All right, so this is going to be our setup for the forge burner. We got the some black pipe, a I believe it's an inch to a three fourths um, reducer. We drilled some drilled some holes and tapped tapped them for quarter inch by twenty um, screws. So that's going to hold the burner here. This is a quarter inch brass cap, a union, a ball valve, a nipple, and then our um, hose for the propane. So we're going to put all this together. We're going to submerge it in water, make sure it doesn't leak any. Then we're going to drill a six, 1 16th hole in this to disperse the propane. Then we're going to test it out. Okay. So we're going to test to see if there's any propane leaks. We have it submerged in water, all sealed up. We're going to turn the propane on. If we see bubbles, there's a leak. If not, we're looking good. All right. Turn it on now. And look for any bubbles start to form. I don't see any. All right, that means we have no leaks. We're just gonna drill the hole in the, in the tip there and we're ready to go. All right, it's time to light this bad boy. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little scared. I added a inch and a quarter reducer. This will allow more air to be brought into here and make the flame a little bit um, bigger, a little bit hotter. So we're gonna turn on the propane, see what we got. All right, propane going on. You hear it? I think gets it. The fire gods have blessed us. All right, now we're gonna see how the burner works in the forge. Here we go. Right, guys the forge is all done I'm super happy with how it all turned out this will make it so I can start doing some actual blacksmithing and get some cool new projects as for the final price we got it around just hundred and twelve dollars little more than the hundred bucks that I was expecting but not too bad but thanks everyone for watching we'll see you next time and for don't forget to like and subscribe